in a session you explained about cosmic strings and that all galaxies might be connected through them, maybe from the supermassive black holes at the center. But as the universe expands and these galaxies go far away from us, will they still be attached to the strings? Do the strings ex expand as well? Also, can one galaxy be connected to more than one galaxies at a time? And uh, it was after a video. Okay. So what I referred to is uh, cosmic strings, which are a kind of topological defect. Let's not go into what that is. It's essentially a defect in space-time itself. It's a wrinkle in space-time, so to say. So according to string theory, these uh, cosmic strings, topological defects, could have been created in enormous quantities in the very initial moments after the Big Bang. So these are defects in the fabric of space-time itself. These are wrinkles in space-time. Let me illustrate what it means. So let's say you have a cosmic string. It's maybe one atomic diameter thick. It's very, very thin, very, very thin. But it is a wrinkle in space-time. So if you have a cosmic string this way and you want to take a you want to start from point A and go all the way around it and re return to point A, then you will find that you have not traversed 360 degrees. You have traversed a distance that is less than 360 degrees because this is a wrinkle in space-time itself. It, it warps and, and uh, distorts space-time. So going around it, you will find that you have traversed less than 360 degrees and still you have reached the initial point. So that's the kind of defect it is in space-time itself. And it is a, a warping of space-time, a, 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 a wrinkle. And these effects also cause gravitation because gravitation is the curvature of space-time. So cosmic strings are massive. They have mass, they have gravitational effects. They can cause gravitational lensing. They can split a star in two if we are looking at it through a cosmic string, etc. So that's the kind of effect a cosmic string has. Do uh, Have we found any thus far? We have thus far not observed any evidence of cosmic strings, but it is a possibility. These may exist. And like I said, these emerged, these may have uh, been created in the initial, very initial phase after the Big Bang. And as the universe expanded, these strings stretched out in all directions and they would still be around. So these cosmic strings would be probably be larger uh, longer than the radius or diameter of the observable universe. It's possible, yes. And these are very tightly stretched strings. They are vibrating and causing gravitational effects if they exist. So that's what a cosmic string is. Now, I uh, what's believed by some people is that uh, cosmic strings could basically be the, at the center of wormholes. So every cosmic string would have a wormhole around it. And these wormholes would, would remain open because of the presence of the cosmic string within. Typically, a wormhole is something that snaps shut, shut because of uh, the, the way space-time is. Space-time wants a wormhole, if it can be created, to immediately snap shut and pinch off. So it's very hard to have a wormhole that remains open that you can actually traverse it. So that's the Einstein-Rosen bridge that snaps shut immediately, almost immediately. It wants to sn snap shut. So the main problem with wormholes is to create a traversable wormhole. And for that, you need something like negative mass or something, which will repel space-time and you know keep the wormhole open. So that sort of uh, substance doesn't really exist as far as we know. But a solution could be these ancient topological defects called cosmic strings. Those could keep wormholes open. Now, the other thing is that some physicists believe that these... Uh, supermassive black holes that are at the center of most galaxies, these could actually possibly be wormholes, portals to another dimension or to another region, not to another dimension, but to another region in space-time, maybe a far-off region. So it could connect to very distant regions of space-time and you could traverse this wormhole and reach that other, other location almost in very little time. And if there are cosmic things, there are strings that are threaded through these wormholes, then maybe that's what keeps them open. So this is all hypothetical. We have no evidence of it. But theoretical physics does allow this sort of um, an eventuality. So that is essentially what I was referring to. Uh, if these uh, supermassive black holes are actually wormholes. Now, can one galaxy be connected to more than one galaxy at a time? We don't know. It is. It may be possible. It may not be possible. If it's a wormhole, will it definitely have at least one location to which it is connected? Can a wormhole connect to two more than one place at a time? I'm not sure that is possible. But at least there's a one-to-one -one opening, one-to-one uh, -one correspondence between one wormhole, between the opening and the 
exit of a wormhole. So that's in short about this question. It's an interesting question. But like I said, we have never actually observed. We don't have any observational evidence of cosmic strings. People have been looking for them. Uh, primarily via the gravitational lensing effects they would have because mass basically warps uh, mass. Uh, the presence of mass makes light travel in curves. So light is no longer able to go in a straight line. When you have a mass, the, the path of life, light itself is curved. So that causes this effect called gravitational lensing in which stars and galaxies are seen from the Earth as being distorted in shape because of the presence of some mass between us and that particular star or galaxy. So if a cosmic string is between us, directly between us and a star, then maybe we could see a star split in two for some time. So people have been trying to look for that, but thus far we have found no evidence. Maybe it means that these may be quite rare or maybe few and far between because the universe has expanded to such a great extent that this initial collection of cosmic strings has gone off in all directions. So maybe it's hard to observe. As I say, it's very thin and uh, that could be another reason. So we don't know if they really exist, but according to string theory, these could exist and these could have been formed in the early universe and they could still be around.